Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to show you how I made my Dragonfly mixed media tag. So here I am using my stencil as a guide to make my tag and I am using an old cereal box for the base of the tag. I am now using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick all the layers of the tag together. So now I am using my matte gel and lots of scrap pieces of decorative paper to cover the whole of my tag. Once this is all dried, I then cut off the extra paper around my tag. I am now using my Faber-Cascal Pit Pen Sepia to go around all the edges of the paper to add some shadowing. So now I'm using my white gesso watered down to knock back the colours of my tag. Once the gesso had all dried, I then used my distress paints to add some colour to the background. As you can see, I'm just using small amounts of paint on my finger and blending them with my fingers. So now I'm using my Dovecraft ink pad which will stay wet for ages and my Dragonfly stamp. I'm now adding my Cosmic Shimmer Clear Emboss Powder over the top. So now I'm using my heat tool to heat up my emboss powder. As you can see it will start changing and you just have to keep moving your heat tool around until it's all changed. So now I am using my Distress inks to give colour to my dragonflies. Once the ink was dried, I then used my Distress Glaze over the top of my Dragonflies to seal in the Distress ink. I then cut out my Dragonflies. I gave them a bit of shape with my bone folder. So now I am using my eyelet tool to make a hole in the top of my tag. So here I've used my die cuts to cut out some flowers and some flourishes. Next I added some colour to the edge of my flowers. So next I am using my stylus tool on my tool in one to add dimension to my flowers. Once I had done that I then used my acrylic glue and stuck all my flowers together.
So now I'm using my archival ink with my stamps and my stencils to add some more interest to the background. Now I'm using my black distress paint to go around the edges of my tag. I am now using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to add all my pieces to my tag. Here I'm using some 3D foam to add dimension to my dragonfly. So now I'm using my distress paint watered down to colour my ribbon because I didn't have any in the right colour. Once that was dried I then added the ribbon to my tag. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, if you have please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.